Salutations and welcome to Intro to Communications. This video is discussing the final project options. If you recall or remember, if you have maintained an A in my course, you do not have to take the final. If you are concerned, if you're unsure and don't know if you have maintained an A, just reach out to me and I will check my grades. Now, mind you, it's getting toward the end of the semester, both with our school and my wilding school. <clears throat> And the extracurricular activities are thick. So I'm not always by my computer. And my computer and my desk is where I keep all of my grading stuff. So I will I will get to you. I will answer you and let you know, hey, I'll look at it and stuff. But never fear. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Anyway, let's go over final project options. So if you end up having to take the final for this course, I don't do tests. I give you options. We have lots of options. We know I like a good option because I do it for assignments as well. There are, let me see, my computer's in front of me, 10 options for your final. Option one is you pick a film, and for this film, you give a synopsis or a description of the film, kind of a review. That should only be a few paragraphs. I don't need a couple pages. You don't have to break down like detail per detail, just a quick overview if you would. Something like you'd find on IMDb. Choose a learner topic from the book, such as nonverbal, relationships, groups, teams, whatever lesson you want from the book. Diversity, listening, you know, all that. Give examples from the film that go with the learner outcome that you choose. You have to have at least two to three examples from the outcome that you choose, from the outcome that you chose, and you can, you use those examples from the film with those learner lessons. So the total for this would be about two to three pages, minimum, you know, minimum two to three pages in length, because you, if you're giving me a couple paragraphs for the introduction and then each learner lessons, at least a paragraph, you're gonna be hitting at least two pages. So two page minimums. And remember that's several examples within the paper from the chosen chapter itself. That's option one. Option two is give a speech. Record yourself giving a speech. This speech could be an informative speech on any topic or a process on how to do, where you give instructions on how to do something like bake a cake, change your tire, meal prep, do hair, shoot a basketball, play a video game, whatever the case may be here. Um, you can also do a persuasive speech if you also choose. I didn't put that on the, the document, but that's also an option. If you want to choose a persuasive speech, maybe you want to tell us why or why not we should or should not smoke or why or why not there should be a red light at this juncture, whatever, whatevs, or why McDonald's is better than Wendy's or this pizza is better than that pizza or what, which doctor is the best doctor or which Batman is the best Batman. Okay, when I say doctor, I mean Doctor Who. Um... Once it's recorded, you can upload it to the journal section where I will have a heading labeled final project or you can send the speech to me via email. Um, you will also have to create an outline for this and submit it as well. This project requires that you record yourself, upload the recording and create an outline. Um, if you quote anyone or use the statistic, there must be a work cited or bibliography attached to the outline as well. All right, option three, find a comedy special. Record. Um, Find a comedy special, lo locate a special by a comedian that you enjoy, and once you find it, clip it and upload it with your project. Create, a, create an outline for the special to be submitted as well. Once you have your special and have created an outline, you will discuss some learner outcomes that the comedian demonstrates in this comedy special from the course book. So this can talk about, this can be nonverbal, relationships with the audience, preparedness, self-awareness, adapting to others, or any other learner outcomes that may st stick out to you and strike you as you're watching this special. You must choose at least two learner outcomes from our course book, from our course, to discuss and give examples in the special. Um, you can upload a comedy sketch or a special, create an outline. So for this project, you upload a comedy sketch or a special, create an outline, and discuss a couple of book chapters with examples of ones you chose, the ones you chose, you piece you picked. So about two, around two pages, including outline. So option four is you create a Jahari window. 
This comes from the chapter of interpersonal communication. Um, you want to choose your fate. You can, the Jahari window can be of your favorite character from the book, television series, film, or musician. You create it in Photoshop or Excel or physically draw it yourself and you'll complete it to Blackboard. All I ask is that you don't do the Harry Potter one that I uploaded as an example. Option five, this is, goes with group and team performances. From this year, choose a reality show that uses teams. Think like Double Dare, Cooking Show, Survivor, any shows that has teams in it. Discuss the ineffectiveness or effectiveness of their communication skills. I want you to use theories and terminology from the chapter about enhancing group and team performances. And, and also the chapter, so you got like two separate chapters you can choose from here. Um, understanding and group performance, about two pages. Option six, this is non, um, non-verbal observation. There's two options within this option as well. You can create a journal, put a few entries per day. These entries can include real life surrounding television shows, films, news programs, music videos, live performances, and, and other media platforms. Discuss how non-verbal aids in communication or how it may communicate the opposite of the verbal communication. You can use body language, facial expressions, proximity of those in communication, comfort levels shown, and so forth. This should be for cover about two weeks of observations or at least two to three entries per day. And those entries are just a couple lines. Like they don't have to be super, super long. Or you can break down, you can choose the route to break down a film's nonverbal communication. Discuss how the nonverbal can create new language, how it may aid messages being sent, and how it contradicts messages, messages throughout the film. Discuss emotions created in the film and or how the nonverbal itself may create or aid in conflict. Option seven, you can keep a people watch journal for two weeks. Make notes in regards to what you notice about their interactions, their reactions, and any base judgments you may have. How the lessons from the textbook help you with people watching. A few entries per day. This option is getting a change up. Um, I said change up in lieu of quarantine. We're not so much in quarantine anymore, but you know, socially distanced, of course. So you can do this in person or you can do it from a television series. But it should span about two weeks and about 20 entries total. Um, you can also choose to... Now, obviously, if you choose this event, it won't be a two-week but you will have to have multiple entries. You can choose to people watch at an event, like a sporting event. Um, perhaps you or a friend or a family member or a child are in sports and you go. It's hustle bustle, sports time, or in dance or whatnot, or there's recitals and there's concerts you're starting to open up again and there's all kinds of things going on. So you can people watch there, but I expect quite a few entries from that one um or if you like or there's crafting events or if you like thrifting like some people like to thrift or you go to farmers markets or whatever the case may be here a leisurely stroll through the mall anywhere a crowd may gather safely distance of course discussion eight option eight is have a discussion of emc that's electronic media communication versus face-to-face -face, of tf communication within the process itself Give multiple examples from the section of the communication model. Within this, create a list of pros and cons with EMC and FTF communication. Discuss how EMC terminology can create barriers in communication. This is like the slang that's used in text messages and direct messages. You know, like LOL, laugh out loud, or, you know, TCYL, talk to you later, so forth. I'm doing nice ones. I know they're not so nice ones, and emojis replace a lot of words, but you're... In this one, you would discuss how that can create communication barriers or miscommunication. Um, option nine, let's discuss diversity. For this option, you choose a film or a series set in another point in history, another culture, another world, or just another time. Once you've chosen your film or series, you can discuss how about the culture that is represented in that film or series. Um, you can chat about gaining new knowledge of said culture this is really great for documentaries. Um, you can chat about the detail that the show discussed. This is great in fantasy films. You can discuss how the culture parallels yours. You can chat about traditions in that particular culture, or you can discuss how in the film you chose the stories are based in particular cultures, myths, stories, legends, or histories. You can choose biopics, documentary, fantasy, animated, historically based, or any film that encapsulates another culture. Here are some examples, and they're going to be all over the board. Remember the Titans, Cleopatra, Clash of the Titans, Black Panther, Bridgerton, 
Downton Abbey, Moana, Avatar. See, I put animated films in there. Now and then, Coco, Wizard of Oz, 42, Vikings, Chocolat, West Side Story, Bollywood Films, John Carter, Prometheus, The Help, Mad Men, A Discovery of Witches, Lord of the Rings, Narnia Films. So as you can see, some of these are based on historical figures. Some are based in fantasy. Some are just based in a different time. Um... There are so many to choose from here, but what you would do is discuss the culture in it. Perhaps you learn something new if you're watching like a historical documentary or a biopic. You know, perhaps there's all kinds of musical documentaries out there um, that discuss times. There's one on HBO, Get Back with the Beatles, and it's really great when they were working on one of their albums. But it also reflects that exact point in time because it's found footage. Not found. It wasn't lost. But... This is what we're talking about here. The Diary of Anne Frank. These movies reflect. So discuss the cultures and the diversity in the film or series. And there's TV series that reflect different times and different eras as well. Like I put Mad Men as an example. Um, a really chilled example would be that 70s show. You know, it's not crazy in depth. But it's, you know, it's set in the 70s. Um, dazed and confused. You know, just. It doesn't have to be an extreme away from you culture but you know just discuss what you see in the film the series and the last and final option for this is tell me a story we kind of just did this this incorporates public speaking nonverbal, and verbal all in one you are to pick a children's book think third grade and below and i want you to record yourself reading this book as you would to that age group this translates the use of your nonverbal and verbal and how you choose to read and animate your story you can change your voice for different characters, change the inflection to alert upcoming suspense or elation, using the pace to help set a mood. Do you use arm hand gestures along with your story? Because Lord, I do. Um, and then you're just to upload it. So those are your 10 options. There is a Word document up for this as well. I will post this to Blackboard and it will stay there for the entirety of the rest of the semester. Folks, I hope you have fun. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Bye.